Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, finally we're gonna hear what an orthodox priest has to say about Islam. This man is a Russian Orthodox Christian priest. The reason why I choose those videos is because I want to further Christian and Muslim friendship, of course. People have all kinds of allegations when they watch my channel. They believe that I am an undercover Muslim, not a real Christian, and I'm just here to debunk Christianity, or at least that's what I'm trying to do not whatsoever. I am simply a man that comes from Orthodox Christianity, read the Quran and was immensely impressed. It truly made me return to the worship of one God, which is absolutely beautiful. That being said, I have no hate whatsoever for any religious group. And when it comes down to the Abrahamic faiths, especially Christianity and Islam, I of course have love for both parties. And I would love to see those two parties fight against the true evil in this world, the true common enemy. All right, guys, but with no further ado, let's have a look. And an old lady came to me today. And she said, Father, I want you to answer me a question. Good. Sure, I said. The lady said, when I want to go to the church, I call a taxi to get a lift, if the driver is a Muslim. He refuses to take money. And says, you are like my mother and son doesn't take from his own mother, especially when she is going to pray. In contrast, if the driver is a Christian, he takes money and says, it's my job. When I heard her question, I was embarrassed. But I had to answer, so I said, to be honest, Muslims are more well-mannered than the Christians. Those Christian drivers who might never been to a church miss mercy, good and tender. It was better for them to help the lady to spend her needs. To deliver her to the place that she want to or to the doctor. Or even to carry what in her hands to her apartment or to the elevator. Because these deeds please God. Absolutely, I saw something very interesting on the channel of John Saint Julian Baba Vanyama. He is an interesting character and not your everyday Christian. However, in his community tab, he posted something absolutely thought-provoking. He ultimately said, and I'm paraphrasing here, to redirect our worship away from God and onto our desires. He said, try this experiment, really. When you wake up, make this day about you. Do everything that you want to do. Focus on the food that you want to eat, focus on the friends that you want to meet, etc. Make it about you and not about God. This sounds strange at first, right? But he came to the conclusion and said, most people won't feel a difference. And that is absolutely correct. What is it truly that we do to please God? What are we doing in our everyday life that is not focused around ourselves, our families? What are we truly doing to please God? <laughs> The strange thing is, what pleases God is what urban Muslims do. 
and the urban Christians do not know or do what pleases God. So who is nearer to God? For me, I see the future for Muslims. They will inherit the earth and build it. For they care about their religion more than Christians. That is absolutely correct, man. Again, I'm obviously not an atheist. However, if you look into the logic of survival of the fittest, there is, of course, a truth in that as well. And this is my worldview. Ultimately, there are truths in everything. It does not mean that it is the ultimate truth. If you look into nature, yes, you will find survival of the fittest. So now we do have biological bodies and therefore survival of the fittest is a truth. Not the ultimate truth, but a truth. And hence, if you look at what Muslims do, they appreciate their religion, they respect their religion, and moreover, they respect their families, and they are motivated to create bigger families. This is what Muslims do. Christians do not. Christians abandon their churches. They do not care for Christianity, nor do they care about making babies, because babies take pleasure away from their own desires, from their own lives. That are so fulfilled with traveling, partying, and whatnot. They do not care about the family structure any longer. Of course, not all, but unfortunately, the majority is like that. They care for money, they care for wealth, they care for fun. And therefore, just by that metric alone, Muslims will take over the world. Simple. Muslims are establishing their rituals to the fullest of fasting and praying. And performing the eight prayer, which is one of the most terrorizing scenes. Uh, because of the slaughter. Seeing thousands of youth praying and prostrate, crying to God. Yeah, the translation is really not great here. It says the scene we the Christians lack for is that we do not see in the church anyone but the elderly women. So basically, most of the church goers are elderly women. Islam is the most voluntary religion, practical and closer to the mind. It is the only religion that is humanity, all desired peace and tranquility. Translated by Marva. Fantastic job, Marva. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. The translation lacked a bit, to put it nicely. Nevertheless, we still got the memo, of course. It was beautiful to see that this priest here understands, of course, what the worship of God is. In the end, there are theological differences, no doubt about it, of course. In Christianity, you have the Trinity. Within Islam, you have Tawhid, etc., etc. But nevertheless, when it comes down to practicality of things, this is really what it boils down to. If you are a Muslim and you don't behave well, then what does it matter? What you believe in your mind, in your heart. If you are a Christian and you say that you believe we should be Christ-like, but then you're charging the elderly woman, how do you practice truly what you received by your preachers? And this is really what it boils down to. This man of faith here understands, of course, that the urban Muslims behave much better. I want to take it further and even say that the urban Muslim that is really adhering to the religion of Islam is essentially a modern day monk. Think about it. Within Christianity, if you really want to worship God, you go to a monastery. You leave the urban lifestyle. However, the urban Muslim that is truly practicing is living like a monk, in a sense, in this modern day and age. It's absolutely beautiful to see because he is praying five times per day in the city. He is going to the mosque in the city. He is fasting Ramadan within the city. He is abstaining from all the fitna, all the generacy that is in the modern day and age just by him clinging onto his faith this is truly like the monastic lifestyle 
however in this modern day and age and this is something that the christians can learn of of course but no the modern day christian on youtube wants to tell you how islam is a false religion how prophet muhammad may peace be upon him was a bad guy and what not they're focusing on theological differences rather than concentrating on their own piety all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel here then all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support guys especially via patreon and as always may god bless you all much love and peace